Patricio has just joined us off the street. <laughs> well, you're from Ar Argentina? Yeah. He's yeah, come all the way from Argentina just today to come and see the Royal <laughs> Society and a few other things. Close your eyes. He's not looking. No. Choose yeah. a drawer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? You like that one? Yeah, yeah. All right, pull it open. No, keep now. Uh, pull it open. Okay, okay. You've, you're not finished yet. Okay, this one. We've got a report on a paper by Owen on the skeleton of a Mylona platy. I don't think it's a platypus. Yeah. I don't think it is. So I'll tell you what, Patricia, we're going to look that up for you and you keep watching objectivity. <laughs> yeah. And you will see what that was all about sometime, alright? Okay, sometime. Is yeah. that alright? Yeah. Okay, so after having a photo taken mm -hmm. with us, Patricio has departed. Maybe he's making his way back to Argentina or maybe he's just seeing more of the sights of London. But we have gone into the archives and found the paper that he pulled from the card catalogue with the white gloves of destiny. And this is it, Keith. Indeed. So here we have a referee's report on a paper by Richard Owen. And uh, you can see the heading there is British Museum Natural History. So Richard Owen, who's already mm. a big deal, has yeah. written this paper about the is it, um, Mylania platyceps. Excuse my pronunciation, but the referee's report is what someone else has written about his paper, basically saying, is it good enough? Is the That's science right. sound? Yeah. Should it be published in the Philosophical Transactions? So someone called H.G. Searley from the British Museum, so probably mm -hmm. someone who knows his onions, has written this report. I have read Sir Richard Owen's memoir, Sir Richard Owen, so he's already yep. showing due respect. And then this goes on, and basically he's going through Sir Richard Owen's paper piece by piece and saying, I think this could be clearer, this diagram yeah. could be smaller. Uh, and, and particularly the illustrations, he's very concerned to get those just right. How did the paper turn out? Let's Phil take a look. Keith has delivered the goods, of course. He's found the volume of philosophical transactions that contains the finished product. So here we go, the final paper, the, the skeleton of the Mylania platyceps, which is sort of a, a big turtle, like a big extinct turtle, we think. Like. That's right, and, and from your part of the world, Brady, I think, because he says here from Lord Howe's Island. Lord Howe's Island. I call that just Lord Howe Island now. I think mm -hmm. that's what Australians call yeah, it. Yeah, I think so. that must be right, yeah. Okay. So anyway, these, this is a fossilised skeleton. This creature is no longer with us, but obviously it was still of tremendous interest. Here's the paper, all typed up now and all very formal. A small addendum there, but really the key to this is having a look yourself. So here we have a list of the plates uh, reproduced according to the referee's report, and we can have a look at them. Here we go. Side view of the skull. They almost look like photos, but these have been drawn, have they? Or? Originally they would have been drawn, and then these are lithographs, so they would be printed and the plates accompanying each paper in the transactions. Side view of the skull, base view of the skull. Here's all these fossilised bones, the skull again. Pretty pictures. Hmm, not the whole animal though, they haven't tried to reconstruct it here, they're just showing you the individual parts. And here's the piece de resistance, a special fold out there of the tail sheath. Well the sheath, like a, what, like a, I think it was all armoured or something. Uh, could easily be, yeah. This is not exactly our strong suit, is it? it? Is. We're, kind of, we're, kind of, we're kind of fudging it a bit, but that's what mm. happens when we just let the gloves and the card catalogue pull it out. Mm -hmm. But there you go. I think for an objectivity viewer coming from Argentina, mm -hmm. donning the gloves, randomly pulling out a card, leading us to these lovely pictures, I'm going to count that as a success story. At Punta Alta, he describes uh, what he finds. And it says here they came across a skeleton. He says a tolerably perfect head of a megatherium, a bradypus. Exactly, yes. So here's Charles Darwin in South America on his most famous voyage, and he's discovering fossils. 